and welcome back to my channel once again. So today I basically got sent a couple of products from Clara Cosmetics. Now they're an Australian brand and they're cruelty free so when they reached out to me of course I was keen to give their products a go. Now this is the New York eyeshadow and highlight palette so it's got a mix of eyes, cheek and face products. So this is what it looks like here. I think it's really wearable and it would be really really good for if you're going to travel or anything like that. So the highlighter shade down here is super pretty and then there's just a bunch of other like matte and shimmer shades in the palette. I also got sent these two individual eyeshadows. Now I will say I feel like the packaging of these is a little bit cheap compared to the last palette that I just showed you. But this is just a matte eyeshadow so this one is in the shade 25 and this is a shimmery reddish eyeshadow and this one is in the shade number 17. Um, and then I also just got sent these two lip products here. So I've got this one here um, which is Kiss Proof Lips Liquid Matte Lipstick and this one's in the shade Flaming Red 5. And then the other one that I've got here is a Mini Kiss Proof Lips Liquid Matte Finish and this one's in the shade Vixen Plum. So in this video I will be creating two separate looks that you can do with any of these products. Yeah, let's get right into it. Just in case I get any fallout under my eyes, I've just put a stack load of translucent powder underneath so I can kind of just dust it away. So the first shade that I'm gonna go in with is this grayish -y color here. I'm just gonna take that on my Morphe M441 brush and I'm just gonna start putting that through my crease area. So I've obviously already put concealer on my eyes and I did set that concealer down. This is actually a really pretty like purpley grayish color. I actually really like that color just on its own. I think that's so pretty. So the next shade that I'm going to go in with is just this dark purpley shade here. So I'm going to be taking that on my Morphe M433 brush. So I might even just sort of pat the color on. And then when I've got the color built up as much as I want it to be, then I'll start sort of blending it out. I'm going to start bringing that a little bit through my crease as well. Just using what I've got left on the brush. So I'm just going to go back into that grayish shade that I was using first and just kind of put that over the edges just to make sure it's blending out. Okay, so the next shade that I want to go in with is just this really dark grayish shade here. So this time I'm going to be taking that on my 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva. This one here looks a lot more powdery than the other shades. So I'm just going to tap off any excess product and just place that only on the outer edge of my eye. This one is definitely a lot more powdery. Do tiny little circular motions just of that dark grey shade in the outer edge. And then any fallout I've got, I'll dust that off in just a moment. So now I'm just going to go in with the highlight shade and I'm just going to start placing that on my lid. That looks so pretty. Alright, so just with that same highlighter shade, I'm going to place a little bit of that under my brow bone as well. That's actually quite intense. That's really, really pretty. Alright, and just one last time, I'm just going to go back into that dark purple shade and I'm just going to pack that on the outer edge. Right, so now I'm just going to go in and do underneath my eyes. So I'm pretty much just going to use the same colors that I used on the top. So the first one that I think I'm going to go in with is the dark charcoal -y sort of color. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to go in with is just that dark purple sort of shade again. So I'm just going to kind of smoke that out underneath where I put the gray. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in with the highlight shade and I'm just going to place that on my inner corner. Alright, so now I'm just going to go in with the same highlight shade and just apply some of that to my cheeks. This probably has to be my favourite thing so far, to be honest. The highlight is so pretty. It's almost got like a little bit of a purpley tinge in it when I put it on my skin. Like in here it just looks like a really pretty like light coloured pearly colour. But I feel like it's definitely got some purple. So last but not least, I'm just going to apply this lipstick here now. So this is in the shade Vixen Plum. Now I got to be honest, this probably isn't a shade that I would normally wear. It might be like an Instagram selfie sort of a, a shade for me, but then I probably wouldn't actually wear it in public. So we'll see how it looks when I put it on. Oh, 
Okay, so this is the finished look number one. Now, I've got to be honest, I will always be honest with you guys on my channel. This lip color is probably personally not something that I would wear in public unless I had more of a subtle eye makeup look. The eye makeup I'm absolutely loving and I would probably just personally wear it with more of like a nude sort of a shade. But this is just one of the ones that I got sent. So they do have a bunch of other really pretty colors and if they wear as nicely as this one, then they would be just beautiful. So this does say that it's kiss proof. So... I'm going to kiss my hand and see if anything comes off. So I applied this probably about like three minutes ago. So it should be pretty dry by now. Okay, so there's like nothing at all. I've actually not ever applied a lipstick that's had this sort of a feeling on my lips. Like it literally feels like I have nothing on. It doesn't feel drying. It's crazy and it's like literally not transferring so i feel like it's going to be super hard for me to take off so now i'm basically just going to take off this makeup and then we're going to do look number two so with look number two i'm going to be wearing a red lipstick so this one's in the shade flaming red number five when i'm going to be wearing such a bold red lipstick what i like to do first is apply the lipstick and then do my eye makeup that way i know how intense to go on my eyes without it looking too over the top because if I have a really bold lip, I prefer to have a more natural sort of eye makeup look. So that's what I'm going to do today. Can I just say, this is applying so nicely. So as you guys can see, that's a really pretty like bright orangey red, so it's super intense. So using the same palette, um, I'm going to go into the white shade now and I'm just going to kind of place that all over my eyelid. So I've obviously got translucent powder under my eyes for if I have any fallout once again. So now just using the same brush, so the Morphe M433 brush, I'm going to go into this single eyeshadow here. So this is the Clara Cosmetics Matte Eyeshadow in the shade number 25. So I'm just going to apply this in my crease. To give the effect of having bigger eyes, I'm going to kind of apply it just a little bit above my crease area. So sorry if you guys can tell that I'm sick. I've got like sinus problems and whenever it's spring... It's so bad and like my head literally feels like it's going to explode right now. So sorry if you guys can tell that I'm not feeling like 100%. It's so annoying. It's like I literally have a runny nose constantly and it just builds up like no matter how much I blow my nose. Sorry if this is too much information, but no matter how much I blow my nose, I, it's always there. Like I just can't get rid of it and it's so frustrating. Alright, so I like how sort of subtle that's looking. Now I'm just going to go in with the same brown shade and just place a little bit of that underneath my eyes. This lipstick feels a tiny bit more dry than the other one, like I can sort of feel it on my lip. So now I can just dust away this powder from underneath my eyes. And then go back in with that same highlight just to kind of highlight my face. I still had a little bit of highlight on from before when I did my makeup, so I won't have to add as much. I look so white right now, I don't know what's going on. So I thought I'm just going to go in and put a little bit of this red shimmer shade underneath my eyes now. So it's kind of like a ready pinky colour. This one's in the shade number 17. So I'm just going to take that on a little brush and kind of put it under my eyes just for a little something extra to add into this look and just to kind of see how it turns out. So just using the same brush that I use under my eyes, I'm just going to do it in the outer crease area. Just to kind of tie it in a little bit. So you can obviously wear this how I did without this like ready pinky shade added. For the sake of the video, I thought I just wanted to give it a try. See how it turns out. So this is look number two complete. Now I actually really do like this one. It was kind of fun just adding a little bit of that pinky red shimmer shade onto my eyes. The lipstick does feel quite a bit more drying than the last shade that I was wearing. Basically, out of all these products, I actually really enjoyed applying all of them. So this shade here was probably the hardest one of all of them to use because it did have so much fallout. It had a lot of kickback in the pan, but that was just my personal problem. Everything else that I used was really amazing. I will link all of the products that I've used down below. Now, Clara Cosmetics has given me a discount code to give to you guys. So that is Kirsty R15, and that will save you guys 15% at checkout. Now, I will make a small commission from the sales using this just so you guys know so it's obviously up to you if you want to use my code i really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's super quick tutorial on the two different makeup looks that i've created today like always i'll see you guys in my next video